Yo, what's up, y'all? Y'all already know who it is, Target Individual, CJBK. Um, you know, sitting, just kind of soaking in my bathtub right now, trying to see if I could, uh, um, and some pink Himalayan salt. You know, I read that it's actually good with, um, basically trying to remove, um, negative energy or, um, other types of uh, ailments or pains and stuff like that. And uh, for the most part it does, but at the same time, you know, um, I have uh, the lights from the, um, from my, uh, whatchamacallit, the circuit breaker turned off in the bathroom. That only thing I didn't do was turn off the, um, the actual power to the outlets, the wall outlets. Um, but then that still doesn't negate the fact that, you know, they're using, um, Wi-Fi signals or other people's, you know, um, router, um, frequencies to basically expose me to more, um, electromagnetic radiation. So, but, um, yeah, so as I'm, you know, going through, you know, my YouTube channels and, you know, listen to Deep Fate, you know, Deep Fate Video Rob. Well, he has a new one called Deep Fate um, Video Weapon Rob because they hacked him out of his, you know, his original account, you know. Um, you know, uh, uh, like as I'm reading uh, or watch, watching his videos, you know, he's like, given more information about how a lot of this technology and stuff is written all in the Bible. Um, and in actuality, you know, uh, he's, you know, there's one where he said, you know, just read up on the book of Daniel and the book, book of, uh, I think it was the book of Joseph as well. And, um, you know, so, uh, you know, as I'm reading that, that book of Daniel, or at least the first two, uh, like the first two chapters of it, um, about how the king had a dream and um, he needed someone to like tell him what his dream was and the interpretation of it, you know, and none of the sorcerers or, or you know, astrologers or whatever, they couldn't tell the king about, you know, uh, his dream because they were like, oh, but no one could ever do such a thing you know, no one could ever have such a, uh, you know, such power to be able to read or know what a person dreamt of and then to be able to explain to them what that dream was if no one, if the person who had the dream doesn't actually tell them. So um, Daniel, um, who is basically, you know, a, a child of God, you know, he has this, 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 connection or this moment with God where he actually does learn or receive information from God about, um, about, you know, um, about the king's dreams. So then Daniel, to prevent the, uh, king from basically killing all of the, uh, sorcerers, astrologers, and, and, and magicians, because they weren't able to do what the king asked, Daniel said, um, bring me forth to the king to keep from, um, um, basically slaughtering, you know, well, everybody else, all the wise men. Now, um, Daniel then goes into telling the king about his, um, about his dream and gives them the interpretation of the dream, right? Now, one thing that, uh, which we'll probably, well, obviously the king, you know, he falls to his face, he cries, and then he, you know, he appoints Daniel to be among, you know, one of his um, top, you know, people, right? But uh, I didn't finish reading the whole thing, so I got to go through that. So, but what I'm going to get into is lucid dreams, right? Um, remember what I said in... Um, last night's video and then also through um many i think i might have mentioned lucid dreams in a few other videos 
Like, I'm starting to lose count of how many videos I make, actually. And, um, remember what I said about how every thought, every image, every thing that you hear, every word, it's all encoded in the brain as, as you know, electrical impulses or electrical frequencies. So, um, and, oh, I see they stop now. So all, all this time I've been in the tub, they've been like knocking on the wall. It would always sound something like, do, do. It would always sound like two thuds on the wall. And I wish that, you know, I probably was doing this recording as they did it, but you know, of course they're using remote neural monitoring. So they're seeing what I see. So now that I'm recording, they're not gonna do it now. So, um, you know, but yeah. Remember everything that I was talking about when it came to lucid dreams. Um, so, um, side effects of spiritual ascension, right? I kid you not, I can't make this up because Hindu Hindus know about this. Um, you know, Buddhists know about this. Um, they all know about what it feels like to actually, you know, be going through uh, what they would call a spiritual awakening. And it does have some, you know, rather uncomfortable side effects, but they also tell you things that you can do to help relieve those side effects, um, inclu including what is con considered controlled breathing, um, you know, meditation, things of that sort, you know, um, maybe even a, a change in your diet. Right, and then you look up many of the side effects that are considered, um, you know, well, side effects of control of, of spiritual ascension or spiritual awakening. Um, many of it sound like the same exact side effects of what's happening to targeted individuals. So anything that, that comes from, like, like, anything that's along the lines of, like, um, you know, uh, nausea or, or clumsiness, loss of balance, um, the feeling of sen the sensations of pins and needles throughout your body, um, you know, certain moments throughout the day where you're experiencing either burst of energy or drainage of energy, um, emotional instability at times, um, the feeling of pressure um, at the crown of your head, like right at the very top of your head. Um, the feeling of heat being pulled or like heat flowing from one particular spot. Like, and I mean like, it could be like a, a circle about like, like no bigger than, you know, uh, let's say three to four inches in circumference, like a heat, um, almost kind of like a, like, like, almost kind of like a beam. <laughs> it, it fit, like, it's like a circle of heat, and then it's, like, being so, like, it feels like something's being pulled from your, um, from your, act, the crown of your head. Um, but among other things, there's, there's a number of different, um, you know, uh, side effects. So, as I'm in here trying to basically relieve myself of all these things that's happening, um, it keeps dawning on me that, you know, why are these people trying to basically gain access to everyone's pineal gland or their, their third eye or, you know, their, their crown chakra? Why is it so imperative? Why is it so important that they're using this technology to grab and latch on to people's spiritual essence? And then it, it, it another thing dawns on to me where, um, you know, there are a lot of, uh, you know, occults and, and dark magic things where they basically use magic to try to see if they can control and manipulate a population. And then those who don't conform, well, they basically become experimented on or tortured or even at times sacrificed and killed. 
um, and that I'm thinking about it um, to another extent where, um, you know, these, these people, they're like, oh, we're a secret society. You know, uh, you're not supposed to know about technology. But when you think, when you hear something like that, it's like, well, what do you want with my act, with my spiritual energy? I'm not really understanding that. And you got to kind of think, what human being? That's that's the that's the thing that really gets me right there. What human being just wakes up one day wanting to just control another person's spiritual essence or can you know gain access to a person's pineal gland and then basically extract their neurological data, their memories, their thoughts, being able to see everything about them, you know, knowing all of their uh, cellular frequencies and everything like who needs that much power over an individual like what kind of human being wakes up one day and says I need to have that much power over people and I'm like the last time I heard of something like that well the Nazis are pretty much either dead or basically all underground or covert whatever the case may be and I, you know, it, it kind of just dawns onto me and I'm just like, you know what? We have entered into a realm where now technology, you have all these people out in Silicon Valley who's trying to, you know, push all this, all these ideas of having everything connected to the internet so heavily, you know. You know, the one thing I never understood is why do you need, why do you need your, uh, your home, doors to be connected to the internet like you know you've got so many people that have smart homes where you know if they don't have their key they basically just you know log into their phone and then they can unlock their front door <clears throat> i think that's the one of the most silliest things that people could ever do especially knowing how people are you know, people are learning a lot more about technology and can basically hack almost anything now. And then now that I'm learning about um, about these about frequencies and vibrational frequencies that that can either intercept, jam, or completely disrupt and destroy an electrical device, um, <laughs> it kind of almost even makes more sense. Like we should not have so much electronic devices all around us and then you know it's kind of like been like this this growing sensation in me that's just like i've been having this feeling for for a few years now that like i need to not live in such electrical and technological technologically driven societies like I need to go back to like I remember when I was you know going to college in North Carolina, and um, you know it it wasn't it was you know it was a small kind of town not not a lot of stuff going on, you know very you know almost kind of like suburban like, and I just remember just how at peace I was there you know just knowing that like. You know, there were people, there were some people outside, but it wasn't a lot of people outside. It was just, you know, every once in a while, you, you'll see somebody. And then the funny thing is, when you do actually see somebody and they, and they make eye contact with you, they actually say hello. You know, and you just like, you know, me, I have New York attitude. I was like, oh, but, you know, after a while, it kind of grew on me that I was just like, hey, good morning. They were like, how you doing? They were like, all right, you all right? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, um, it just kind of dawned on me after a while that I'm just like, yo, I think I really need to go, you know? And, um, like, to, like, it, it, because I don't know, you know, I believe, I definitely know that I am a, an empath and, you know, I read energies like it's like like it's nothing you know i could look at a person 
and feel their actual energy before they even open a word or even look in my direction. Like I can walk past the person and I could feel if they're having, you know, if they're a high vibrational frequency type of individual or a low vibrational frequency, you know, individual, you know, um, and there's some people I can walk past and I would get a chill. <laughs> I would get a chill just because of how, you know, dark they might actually feel. Or, you know, a lot of times people don't realize that you can invite evil spirits into your mind and body because remember evil spirits they can't necessarily control you unless you invite them you know so it'll be you know it's your own actions and your own thoughts which invite evil spirits into you and once you have taken liking to the things that you're doing and thinking you will then become basically possessed by these evil spirits. And you won't necessarily realize that you're possessed by it because these evil spirits basically try to go undetectable. Now, <laughs> as funny, as interesting as that, that may sound or, or odd, you know, if you're not really a spiritual person, let me just tell you this, right? I like to listen to the Bible because uh, I believe I'm more of an auditory learner than I am a, you know, someone who can read things and interpret it better that way. So I like to listen to the Bible, right? Whether it's through my headphones or whether it's through a speaker out loud. My electronic handlers or the gang stalkers that live around me they don't like me doing anything concerning the Bible. They don't, if I read the Bible out loud, I can hear them yelling and screaming, no, stop. <laughs> I could literally hear them screaming, stop. <laughs> and then if I try to play it out loud, because the app actually runs off of, um, you know, either Wi-Fi or cellular, cellular data, they will try to, um, which I start to learn about this after a while, or yes, I learned about this yesterday. Um, they will try to send these um, these ping floods that would basically, um, um, they would basically just like nullify or, or disrupt my, um, my cellular data or the ability to be able to you know, um, they would disrupt my bandwidth, basically. Um, and they would make it so that, you know, either uh, my signal connection drops um, and my uh, my signal strength would, you know, decrease dramatically, anything of that sort. Um, and then if they're not, if they're not, if they need more, um, I guess, people to interfere with my phone, they would send me spoof calls. You know, if you've um, seen the videos I posted um, on here, I think I might have posted them on, on YouTube, but I also have um, proof of the spoof calls on my Instagram. If you don't know my Instagram, it's uh, chiefman35. Yeah, chiefman35. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, there's a whole lot of things going on. Um, and I think as, as God continues to give me the strength and the wisdom to, you know, to just be able to survive all these things, um, I just have to let people know that, look, learn everything that you can about electromagnetic field um, radiation or radio frequency radiation. Um, learn everything that you can about the side effects and what you can do to reverse the things that are happening to you. Um, learn everything that you can about pineal gland, um, probably detoxification or decalcification. Learn everything that you can about um, the power of copper and copper grounding. 
Um, learn everything that you can about um, healing frequencies, healing sound frequencies. Learn everything that you can about, um, well, to gain stuff. Uh, because they, I mean, once you once you learn about the tactics of gang stalking and you learn about the tactics of electronic harassment you then almost become nullified to it yes it still bothers me but you know it no longer has the same grip on me as it used to because i'm already aware of what's to happen and i mean at this point like I grew up, before all this gang stalking stuff, I grew up in environments where violence is pretty much the first response to everything. You know, um, I grew up where, you know, most of the time there's no words that need to be had. It's just straight, you know, they either going to punch you in your face or they're going to stab you or they're going to shoot you right off rip. No talk, no words at all. You know, so I'm used to that environment. I just tried for many years to not let that environment become me. That's the only difference, you know. Um, so now they're basically hiring and employing, you know, people of, you know, certain societies or certain, you know, environments to basically take part in this very, very um, evil and spiritually um, condemning activity which is basically giving the elites of silicon valley the uh ability to probably one day snatch everyone's um spiritual essence and upload it into a computer or a cloud server of some sort and then they will just basically um yeah, anybody who dies, I guess their vessel would just be, you know, the vessel meaning their body, their body would just be discarded. And then that person's actual, you know, conscience or consciousness or whatever is just going to be locked in, you know, the internet or whatever, in some type of like augmented or virtual reality, you know. Um, and as I'm saying, is they're basically trying to disrupt the uh, electromagnetic. Um, or electrical impulses of my heart <laughs> as I'm saying this. Uh, so, um, yeah, they're radiating me like crazy. Um, but like God said, fear, don't fear death because no man or woman on this planet knows when their time will come or how it may happen. Um, keep your faith and trust and keep your faith in, in him and trust in him um and you know what <clears throat> my mother had my mother probably didn't realize that she was being uh targeted ever since she had her um you know ever since she had her her uh bout with you know her former employer which is basically kind of like you know the government in a sense and, you know, then they've been, they basically been like gang stalking her since, you know, the 90s or probably the 80s or whatever. And then uh, I guess now it only makes sense that, you know, this activity would find itself to me at some point, you know. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna end it at there. Uh, I'm actually about to get myself ready to go to the um, targeted individual awareness uh, walk that's on Central Park West and um, West uh, 96th Street. It's supposed to be from 11.30 to 4.30. So uh, if you are able to go, then cool. If not, um, remember targeted individual awareness day is August 29th. All right, and remember, as always, take life one breath at a time, one thought, one step, and one day at a time. All right, peace, love, and stay woke.